हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर शांता गुरमठ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी एम आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज मुदे बिहार कर्नाटक स्टेट फ्रेंड्स टुडेज क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट पार्ट थ्री सरफेस इरिगेशन एंड सब सरफेस इरिगेशन फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट सरफेस इरिगेशन सरफेस इरिगेशन इज फेयर वाटर इज अप्लाइड एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओवर द सॉइल सरफेस बाय ग्रेविटी इट इज बाय फॉर द मोस्ट कॉमन फॉर्म ऑफ इरिगेशन थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड एंड हैज बीन प्रैक्टिस्ड इन मेनी एरियाज वर्चुअली अनचेंज्ड टू सॉरी अनचेंज्ड फॉर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ इयर्स सरफेस इरिगेशन इज ऑफन रेफर टू एज फ्लड इरिगेशन implying that the water distribution is controlled uncontrolled and therefore inherently inefficient in uh, reality some of the irrigation practices grouped under this name involve a significant degree of management surface irrigation comes in three major types number 1 level basin second one is furrow last one is border strip the first we discuss about uh, level basin level basin irrigation has historically been used in small areas having level surfaces that are surrounded by earth banks the water is applied rapidly to the entire basin and is allowed to infiltrate in a traditional basin no water is permitted to drain from the filled once it's irrigated basin irrigation is favored in soils with a relatively low infiltration rates this is also a method of surface irrigation second method is furrow irrigation furrow irrigation is conducted by creating small parallel channels along the field length in the direction of a permanent predominant slope water is applied to the top end of each furrow and flows down the field under the influence of gravity water may be supplied using gated pipe siphon and head ditch or bankless systems the speed of water movement is determined by many factors such as slope surface roughness and furrow shape but most importantly by the furrow rate and uh, soil infiltration rate the spacing between adjacent furrow is governed by the crop species common spacings typically range from 0.75 to 2 meters the crop is planted on the ridge between furrows which may contain a single row of plants or several rows in case of bed type system lastly we discuss about border strip irrigation border strip irrigation otherwise known as border check or bay irrigation could be considered as a hybrid of a level uh, level basin and furrow irrigation the field is divided into number of bay or strips each bay is separated by uh, uh, raised earth check banks the typical bay dimensions are between 10 to 70 m wide and 100 to 700 m long then we discuss about the sub surface irrigation as suggested by the name the application of water to fields in this type of irrigation system is below the ground surface so that it is supplied directly to the root zone of the plants the main advantages of these types of irrigation is reduction of evaporation losses and less hinderness to cultivation works such oh sorry which takes place on the surface there may be two ways by which irrigation water may be applied below ground and these are formed as number 1 natural sub surface irrigation method second one is artificial sub surface irrigation method 
then we discuss about advantages of sub surface irrigation first point permits storage of water in the lower soil sub profile reduce pumping costs can be incorporated into an existing drainage system with low additional cost captures plant nutrients at or near the water table for for future use by plants the lastly we discuss about disadvantages of uh, subsurface irrigation labor intensive intensive uh, to adjust elevation of uh, wires wires to change from uh, drainage mode of irrigation mode and map mode and back again after heavy rains system cost can be high in soils with the low hydraulic conductivity or low rolling topography water quality must be high okay thank you friends we meet in the next